Hey y'all, I am doing Pokemon candy um, tonight. A couple things that you will need, and I'm making a small batch. This is gonna be like a personal batch for me, but if you're making some for some friends or maybe for a party, you may wanna double the uh, recipe. So this is one can of condensed milk, and then I have my chopped pecans. Uh, some people use vanilla extract. I'm using coconut extract today. I have my uh, butter and then I have my uh, just some canola oil spray that I'll be using to spray the pan. So I have my Magnolite pot. It is preheating on low because you don't want to cook it on high. This is going to be a very slow cooking uh, candy. You'll also need some sugar. I have some sugar in here um, that I keep in the icebox. Uh, but you'll also need sugar to go along with these ingredients. In um, this cup, I'm just gonna put some water and some ice cubes in it just so that the candy will not stick to my spoon. And just to give you an idea of how long this recipe will take, um, we started at 8.15 and I'll show the clock again once we finish. First thing you want to do is put your um, two tablespoons of butter in here. Once again, I'm doing a very small batch, so I only use two tablespoons of butter. But if you're doing a big batch for an event or for family and friends, I suggest that you double the recipe. The recipe will be down below in the description box. Once this butter completely melts, then I'm going to add in, add in the Eagle brand uh, sweetened condensed milk. Now, I used to do Pokemon candy with pet milk, but uh, when I do it with pet milk, it just takes entirely too long and I don't have time for all that. But um, when I do it with the, the sweetened condensed milk, it's like half the time with more flavor and I mean, it tastes great. So you'll see when we finish cooking. All right, so I have added in the condensed milk and you can see the butter uh, is also in there. I've kind of stirred it up and we're just gonna let it heat up a little bit. It is on about what, two and a half. So I'm gonna turn it up to three. Okay, and we definitely have to watch pecan candy. This is not something that you can leave on the stove and go photo clothes or whatever. No, you need to stay right on top of this or it will boil over and overflow, or it might stick to the bottom. You definitely don't want to scorch or burn your pecan candy. This pack of pecans is from Walmart. It's a great value brand. Um, I'm not really specific on pecans. These uh, are chopped and they work perfect for uh, baking and when I do my pecan candy. So these are always the kind that I get. This is the four ounce bag, which is pretty much the small bag okay and I'm gonna add this in later up once the uh, condensed milk uh, starts bubbling for the coconut extract I really just add like a drop if I can sometimes when I uh, sometimes when I add in it okay there it is <laughs> I didn't want to add that much um, not really sure how to how to measure that but just uh, add as much as you like I just add a little bit um, sometimes I add vanilla and coconut extract, but this is all that I have uh, right now. And I do love the coconut flavor when I make the pecan candy. For the uh, sugar, I use white uh, granulated sugar, just regular white sugar. There's two tablespoons, three, I'm gonna just do four tablespoons. I don't like it too sweet. Um, and this is a great uh, recipe if you're like a beginner and you're trying to figure out how to make pecan candy because this is a small batch and it's really, really easy to make. Um, you do have to stand over it. It's, uh, it's not complicated at all, trust me. Like, this is a great trial and error. If this is your first time making pecan candy, I would definitely follow this uh, recipe in this video. So I wanted to add the sugar to let it start going ahead and um, melt. 
melting. The milk is heating up. You can see the bubbles coming through. The butter has blended all the way. It is mixed in. We're waiting on it to start bubbling and then we're gonna add the pecans. All right, I can see the bubbles starting to form around the, uh, the edge of the uh, candy. So at this time, I usually add in my pecans. I like a lot of pecans. I know some people might, you know, might not. I like a lot of pecans. I need every, you know, bite to be a pecan. And the reason why I add the pecans this early is because I don't want no hard pecans in my um, candy. They need to be like nice and tender and cooked. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that bubble up. Also, while you're waiting on the candy to uh, complete, you wanna get you a pan um, of this size. Uh, I apologize, I don't know what size this pan is, but get you a big enough pan, and then with some spray butter, you're just gonna spray the pan. This is an old pan, that's why it looks like that, but you know, it gets the job done, child. Okay. This is where you're going to place your uh, pecan candy now. When I was little, my uh, auntie and uh, my grandmother, they used to just put the pecan candy right there, okay? And nothing's wrong with that. Just make sure you clean your countertop. They used to clean it, butter it, spread it out, and um, we would just get the pecan candy right off the countertop. But I prefer to put it on the pan. It's just less, um, less clean up. And I have little kids, they like to come in here in the middle of the night and uh, see what they can get out of the refrigerator or off of the counter and stuff. We got a lot of snacks and treats that we have to hide up top, if you know what I'm saying. So as you can see, it is starting to bubble. And you want to have a consistent stirring, consistent stirring method. You don't want this to sit. Don't have this sitting because it's gonna stick. This is, is nothing but uh, butter and sugar. So it's definitely gonna stick. Okay, so you just want a stirring method. Now it, it will turn colors as it's um, getting hotter and hotter and bubbling up. It's like a uh, beige color now, but it will get like a nice, beautiful caramel color. And that's the color that you want, that beautiful caramel color. And if you keep it on too, too long, it will start to burn. So make sure that you uh, watch out for that. And just continue stirring. Time check, it is 8.32. And guess what, we are halfway there. So stay tuned. And keep stirring. <laughs> stirring, as you can see, the consistency is getting a little bit thicker. We just wanna keep stirring. Make sure nothing is sticking to the bottom. If you have a wooden spoon, I would suggest uh, using a wooden spoon. I lost my wooden spoon. I don't know where it's at. And I need to get another one. So you don't have to hear the uh, spoon scraping the bottom of your pot. I would suggest doing this with a wooden spoon. I apologize for saying it's so late. But if you have a spoon like mine, it's still going to be the same result. All right. And we're just gonna keep stirring. The consistency is getting a bit thicker. Time check, it is 8.36. Let's see what time it will be when we are finished. Like I said, this did not take that long versus using um, pet milk. So make sure you scoop, work the bottom, please. And that's my water and ice over there. So I don't want it sticking to my spoon. Of course. Okay. Keep stirring. All right, we are getting closer to um, some pop on candy, some complete pop on candy. All right. You see that the color has changed. It is getting a little bit thicker. It's definitely sticking to the bottom. Make sure you get where it's sticking for sure. You don't want it sticking too much. You have to 
so that you'll know when your pecan candy is done. One is when it has this beautiful caramel color. This is just beautiful. And then two, when you are stirring it, um, it starts pulling from the sides. You see how easily it's pulling from the sides like that? You see that? It is done. That is it. Stop stirring. Rest your nerve. You are finished. All right, so now I'm going to need, uh, need a little help. Somebody's going to have to hold this phone while I'm pouring uh this pecan candy okay this is that's a two-hand job right there okay Be right there another tip that you'll uh know or find out if your candy is finished you have your cup of ice water with your spoon just get a little bit of the pecan candy right. or you can get a lot okay and then you're gonna put that in the ice water Okay, let that sit for a little while. And then you're gonna taste it to see if it's hard enough. Okay, and if some people like chewy puck on candy too, so if you want the chewy puck on candy and that's up to your consistency, then you can take it out of your pot. But if you want it harder, you might wanna run it a little bit longer. Okay, that's how you can also taste it. Uh, check it to see if it's finished. All right, so now we're about to pour it in the pan okay so um some people they might spread it out i don't like spread mine out and then cutting it i kind of like mine in these little these little small raggedy balls over here. oh pause oh my god these small <laughs> portions i'm <laughs> stupid okay I'm using two spoons to try to get it off. And then you dip it in the cold water so that you can not let it stick to the second spoon. See, it's coming straight off the second spoon. And this is trial and error. Okay. And like I said, this is a great way, if this is your first time making pecan candy, try this way. I was using the, the um, pet milk. It didn't just take too long. That's why I started using condensed milk. Bring that a little closer. I like to make these little small Cause that's how I eat them. I eat them in the small chunks like that. Put that one here. And this is only one condensed milk can too. Now I could have spread it, but I didn't. Mm, got to go. <laughs> okay. All right. This is the final product. Um, I do not have perfect little um, portions. <laughs> I kind of just scooped some uh, of the portions out of the pot and I put it on my pan, okay? So I guess this uh, one batch of condensed milk really spread. And this is like I said, this is my personal batch. I'm not sharing this. But if I were to be um, making pecan candy for someone else, I would definitely spread out the pecan candy and then I would cut it into um, rolls and uh, make sure that, you know, whoever uh, ordered pecan candy, they would get the amount that they uh, liked. But this is just for me personally. I like to eat them. I like to eat them in these little portions i don't like them really chunky or i don't like them really flat i just like them in a, in a little a little sloppy ball like that 
and it's very creamy still hot to you <laughs> but it's very creamy it's that nice caramel this is the old pan so just ignore the uh the old pan it, it does the job child okay and i think the best part about making puck on candy is licking the spoon <laughs> So that is it for me, guys. Time check. It's about to be 9 o'clock. We started at 8.15, 45 minutes, and we're done. I believe if you uh, use uh, pet milk, you would still be stirring right now. But instead, you use condensed milk with me. And we have put together our batch of pecan candy. So let me know if you try this recipe. Let me know some tips also if you um, did yours a different way. Let me know. Drop a comment. Make sure you subscribe for more recipes. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.